we would like to start off by respectfully acknowledging that the land that our Anactus team is situated on is the territories of the Hakamelem speaking Stalo peoples on which the University of the Fraser Valley resides. We would also like to acknowledge the urban indigenous population and the distinct nations such as the Métis and Inuit. We're grateful to have the privilege to work, learn, and unlearn on these territories. A 2021 study found that 4 out of 10 Canadians listed money as the dominant source of stress in their life. Undoubtedly, people need these relevant skills, knowledge, and tools in order to make informed financial decisions. Here at Anactus University of the Fraser Valley, we have addressed this need by launching the Big Brain Literacy Program, or BBLP, in 2019. While our initial focus was to promote financial literacy within the Fraser Valley, we recently expanded our scope to provide financial knowledge to a wider group of individuals across Canada and in other parts around the world. We've helped over 1,500 individuals since our launch, and by 2023, we're on track to reach another 1,600 people. BBLP has found success in a variety of distinct communities in the Fraser Valley, including high school students, international students, and Indigenous youth. A 2021 study found that 45% of Canadians wish that they had started saving money earlier. To give youth a head start, BBLP has created workshops targeting high school students in BC. Students learn about topics such as positive spending and creating budgets. These workshops are tailored to various learning preferences, allowing students to collaborate and put learning into practice using activity sheets. The COVID-19 pandemic and historic flooding in the Fraser Valley inhibited in-person workshops and led to cancellations. In response, we adapted our existing workshops to support an engaging online mode of delivery and formed new partnerships with nonprofit organizations. This has allowed us to reach 42 high school students this year and 502 students since our launch. International students are a growing population in Canada and often struggle with adapting to new financial landscapes. Our workshops cover topics based on the unique needs of these international students, including common frauds and scams. Since our launch, we have delivered our workshop to 692 international students, including 19 students in 2021. To reach more students, we've connected with UFE International and Fraser Valley Chandigarh in India, and we're currently in the process of booking additional workshops this year. Our third demographic is Canadian Indigenous youth. A study conducted in 2021 found that Indigenous people disproportionately faced financial setbacks from COVID-19. Through our partnership with the local nonprofit organization, the Fraser River Indigenous Society, we worked with an elder to ensure our content was meaningful and relevant. Our workshops will provide training on general financial concepts as well as tailored topics, including entrepreneurship, government funding, and grants. In September 2022, we have been invited to present our workshop to 120 Indigenous youth at the Seabird Island Band Youth Entrepreneurship Initiative, a conference to increase awareness of foundational finance and management skills. In light of the pandemic and extreme weather events, BBLP aims to become more innovative and resilient to our demographics. For these reasons, we have created a web-based open educational resource, which includes short financial literacy videos, review questions, and links to external resources that are accessible by anyone from anywhere. Since its release in October 2021, we have accumulated over 300 views with over 1,000 minutes watched. BBLP emphasizes forming community partnerships from a variety of private, nonprofit, and other organizations in order to scale up, extend our reach, and create additional content and resources. Our partners, as well as UFE faculty, provide trustworthy resources to build materials from and verify the validity of our content every three months. This year, our team won $7,500 in funding from Enactus Canada Project Accelerators. We'll use these funds to develop our Indigenous workshops as well as expand our open education resources by adding new videos. Finally, we're working to create a financial literacy curriculum that can be used independently by instructors. These investments will allow us to scale up and build inclusive, sustainable, and more accessible resources. BBLP specifically addresses UN SDG number four and number 10. We continue to reach our goals through innovation and the use of technology by developing our network and collaborating with community partners.